Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2016 Lexus RX350, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Pros Pro 4 bike rack. One thing I've noticed about this rack, and I personally like it, is where it's going to hold the bikes in reference to the ground. So what I mean by that is it's gonna hold the bikes high enough off the ground. We're not really gonna to have to worry about any interference, but more importantly, it's not going to hold them up so high that it's going to block or obstruct your view whenever you're looking in your rear view driving down the mirror. However, it's gonna hold them up just high enough to where you can keep an eye on them. And that's especially useful and important whenever you are carrying four bikes. So each bike is going to be held in place at three different spots. We're gonna have two straps here along the top two and this strap down here. This is actually to prevent side to side movement. That way you don't have to worry about your bikes banging into each other. Now we can go ahead and take our bike off. That way we can have a better look at the rack itself. It's real easy and these straps just pop right off. And I will say compared to some of the other racks that have similar setups, these straps are really nice and thick and I could see them last in a long time. I mean, even if you stretch them out real hard, they're still durable. As I said, some of the other ones just feel a little more flimsy and cheap. The anti-sway strap down here works the same way. We can just pull it off. Now I do like the width of the arms too, because then it's easy to slide your bike off. Some of the other ones are wider and you gotta kind of fight it a little more. Now the cradle here is going to be somewhat adjustable. That way it'll accommodate different types of frames. They're gonna be nice and deep. That way you don't have to worry about the frame coming out of the cradle. They're also gonna have some grooves and then it'll accommodate any type of cables that way you don't have to worry about them getting pinched. Now, whenever we're not using the rack, what I like to do is just put these straps back in place. That way we don't have to worry about losing them. With this being a four bike rack, it is going to add quite a bit of length to the back of your Lexus. So that's just something to keep in mind whenever you're pulling into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot. And exactly how much length, if you take a measurement here from the hatch to the end of the rack, it's gonna be right about 39 inches. But if you're not carrying your bikes, you can fold these arms down and that'll free up quite a bit of space. And to do that, you come over here to this pen, pull this little keeper off, be able to pull the pen out. You can push these arms down and just slide that pen back into position. And now we have a ton of more room. So from the bumper, to the end of the rack, it's gonna be about 16 inches. So in this position, I really don't see it affecting your ability to pull into the garage or a tight parking spot. One of the biggest questions we get in regards to these hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to your hatch. Well, this one does fold down, gives you the ability to do that. And if we pull this pin out, this will drop down. Now we're gonna have more than enough room to get any gear or groceries, whatever we might be carrying in and out of the car. Now, if we move down here to the shank, what's pretty cool is that this bike rack has the capability of working with two inch by two inch hitches like we have here today, as well as inch and a quarter hitches. So you have some versatility uh, if you have multiple vehicles in the household. Chances are good it'll work with both of them. Now it is gonna come included with a um, anti-rattle bolt and what this is going to do is eliminate any play in the connection point and to give you an example of how it works if I take the rack and move it it's actually going to move with the whole car so it's really going to help keep it quiet and maintain that smooth Lexus ride so overall really well built rack that's going to last a long time and in my opinion look pretty good on the back of the Lexus so it's going to be a good way to carry multiple bikes here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And 
And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro on our 2016 Lexus RX 350.